Hello everyone, today we are going to composite the shield effect that I did, I think, around two weeks ago. Um, so yeah, that was kind of the last part that's missing. It's not going to be that difficult. Um, I think I just used like three nodes um, to do so, so um, you just can't tweak the values. Anyways, so if you want to basically have this, um, you can watch the last tutorial now. It should pop up in the top right hand corner and there um, you will learn how to how to create this effect anyways um so now um, let's go to compositing um this is the compositing tab right here um do i think i have to have screencast keys i do not let me just enable that um that should be fine perfect let's go into compositing um so First of all, you have to use nodes here. And then we need three nodes to, to, to get the look. First of all, um, you press Shift A and you get a glare node. Glare is basically like Bloom, but um, you might think, oh, we already have Bloom and Eevee, we don't need that. Right, but um, you have like different types of bloom that you can get and that's what we're going to use it's also like the node you usually use if you have cycles and you want to create bloom so ne next we need curves to kind of increase the contrast a bit and the very last lens distortion so we're not actually going to use the distortion part of it um, but the dispersion so let's put that to some low value like this one and also you can press enable, uh, you, can, you can enable jitter if you want it to be qu more, more quickly, like to, to render if you want to render quickly. Um, usually you don't really see it, especially not on video because FFmpeg and MP4, they all compress it down and at the end, um, it's, like, it's almost like a denoiser. So now let's just quickly render the scene so we can, so we can use it in our compositing. Bam. So right now you can see, <laughs> not perfect, but um, it's going to come. So now we, now we can have the preview here. Okay, so um, for the glare, medium is already good. You want streaks? Yes, but not four. Um, we can have three iterations, yes, but we, we don't need color modulation really. And we can put the streaks down to two. Oh, one, I, I never tried one. It looks kind of strange. Let's, let's try two. two. So two is what I usually used. So then if you want a bit more variation, you can kind of offset the angle a little bit. Like not much, but uh, maybe like one degree or something. It just adds a tiny bit of realism. Um, anyway, you can see it's really, really noisy right now. That's because I have enabled jitter. Um, again, for the final render, you might not want to use that. But right now, because it's faster, I'm going to use it. Also, it has kind of this film grain look without really um, anything else. So now let's um, let's zoom out the preview a bit, can we? Um, viewer, zoom it out a bit. Oh, wonderful. Um, good. So um, now we need to boost the contrast a bit. I don't really want to boost the the low lights, but the highlights. I want to boost them a bit, so you just basically do this, and yeah, I don't know. Let, let's, uh, I think by pressing M you can mute, yeah, yeah, pressing M you can mute, very handy feature, so you can see how it looks before and after. Um, actually, I think before looks better. Um, I wonder why the highlights go down, okay, let me push that up a little bit. Let me just say all the jitter. Um, I'm a tad bit confused. Uh, so, well, um, you know what? Let's just not use curves for now, at least. Um, so you got this. Um, this is almost everything. You just kind of have to play around with the glare now. now. Also the dispersion. Um, since we don't really have an HDR in the background, uh, let's 
crank it up a little bit. Oh, that was a bit too much. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, oh. I mean, it's also a cool effect if you're going for it. Um, but I don't think that's quite what we want. Um, it's pretty artistic. Anyway, so we want maybe 0 0.1. So that's something. So you can see it. Yes, yes, maybe. Let's mute it and oops. let's mute it and you can see how it looks. Mostly just it's an enable projector. Makes no difference. I got the dispersion to one. Okay, so maybe we need a bit more, 0 0.2 maybe. Yeah. Or 0 0.15. You just have to kind of play around with the values until it looks okay. I think that's what I'm going to settle. It. Yeah, yeah, that's that's nice. Good. So now for the glare node, um, I think that's a bit too much. <laughs> so what I uh, will do, you can increase the threshold, which will say at which point the glare will be applied. So I really just want the shield and the photon torpedoes to have the glare, mostly. So first of all, to make it easier, you can change the mix to one, and you'll only see the glare effect. And now you can kind of make it to your, lighting, uh, to your liking. I think maybe uh, four or five, five is probably, probably good. Now let's put the mix back to one, uh, to zero, and then you can preview how it looks. So yeah, I think that looks a lot better. And uh, let's mute this one and let's see before after. I think it looks better before. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it looks better after than before. So um, perfect. I basically got this. Um, also what you can do, what you can try is uh, maybe having multiple glare nodes. But in my experience, that just complicates things and doesn't really help. So yeah. Um, also, yeah, you could change colors to, to film, like maybe that will help a little bit. But I kind of want to, to boost the highlights a bit, but it just turns gray. Um, that's probably because of some loss in precision. Well, then let's, let's not have curves then. No, that's fine. Um, so, basically, that's the entire setup. It's not not really difficult. If you want to separate the glare more, if, for example, if you want um, these things to have less less glare, um, we can do that because they are their own materials. So let's um, let's get this one, the discovery, and go to materials, and we have master lights luminance. Um, that's also going to be in the model that I um, that I provided in the last video. Um, so you can get it there. It's I think it's on. On Sketchfab, um, and you can use it for your liking. So let's put this down to like 10 emission strength. So it's not going to be as bright, it made almost no difference. Um, but that will now, if I'm going to turn on the samples for right now, so now let's render it again. And you can see um, the glare here is almost gone. Um, so yeah, that's how you can kind of s separate the glare more from each other. If you want like certain parts to have less glare, um, it's usually that's the way. You just dial down the emission strength. I mean, you can dial down even further to like five. I mean, again, it doesn't really change that much. It doesn't have to be overly bright. And you render now, let's see. Um, yeah, so now you can see the glare is basically completely gone from the windows and from the nacelles and else it's a bit distracting. And if, if you have too much glare, it's just a bit too distracting. Um, so yeah, that's probably how you modify it to get the best results. Anyway, so now we can maybe, um, you can play on with the fade now. The fade basically controls how long the glares are. If, if, if I put the fade to one, for example, then they will be all maximum length, which then you'll have to increase the iterations, basically. And you can make like iterations to like five or something. You'd have the streaks going basically through the entire screen. Um, yeah, but that's, that's maybe a bit too much. Let's um, turn the fade down and 
basically that that's how, how long it goes so um and usually three iterations is enough um you may want to add four if you feel like it's too abrupt it stops too abruptly and then in the end now that we've reduced uh we, we can maybe also um decrease the threshold to like four yeah so you can see we basically want everything except in the cells so um 3.5 now then the cells are starting to show so let's just leave it at that and put the mix back to zero and now you can see it's a bit more prominent perfect now the last thing you may want to do because you now have basically two types of bloom overlaying each other you may want to decrease the intensity of the blue to like of the ev bloom like 0 0.15 and now we render again and you'll see the bloom is less in ev and yeah you can kind of tweak this i personally um i think it's actually not that bad put this 0 0.04 and the knee well um that's basically your call um what, what these values mean maybe i'll do a video explaining what all these values mean um but yeah, we just decrease the radius. The radius, it can start to look funky if you decrease it too much. Um, but um, in this case, it might help a bit, so yeah. Well, anyway, this has been a tutorial. Um, I hope you've learned something and also uh, maybe learned something more about compositing uh, because it can really sell the scene a bit, a bit more. Um, I personally think that looks a lot, a lot better. Um, also, you, you can kind of get this photon torpedo effect, um, which, you know, they also have the, the glare pretty strong on them. Um, if you want, you can try to even completely separate the photon torpedo. But um, I'm not going to do this today. It's going to be a short tutorial. And I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see us in the next tutorial.